Hands. For God's sakes do something with your hands. Ask Reddit on Reddit Rundown. What makes a woman good at sex? Communication, especially during such a vulnerable time, is difficult for many. But there are ways to communicate other than talking. Use your hands. Touch, grab, hold, guide. Move him the way you want him to move. There's nothing offensive or upsetting about this, for most men, it's hot as hell. It tells me you're engaged and viscerally demonstrates that you're enjoying things, that there's something you want from me, and it's me. I imagine I'm not alone in this. If you can't bring yourself to say what you want done, do it yourself. Need breast stimulation? Grab one. If he's paying attention at all, he should pick up what you're laying down. Above all, participate. If you feel a thing, let it show. Don't worry about looking stupid, or think you have to act like a porn star, either. I've never watched a naked woman bend over and thought the way she did that was kinda awkward, all I thought was naked woman but. Nice. You don't have to fake anything and it's better if you don't, a small honest reaction goes way further than one you play up. A lip bite, a look down, a thigh squeeze, these are small ways to show that he's doing something more to you than pushing, that he's making you feel things. If he's at all decent, he's looking for this feedback and he'll use it, and it'll make him feel more connected and enhance the whole experience from beginning to end. Especially end. It basically just comes down to being there, trying to enjoy and provide enjoyment in kind, and being honest, open, and genuine. Anyone who has a problem with any of that is just using you to masturbate with, and that's gross. Nobody deserves that. As a woman coming here for tips, this has been extremely helpful and has relieved so much pressure and insecurities. I came here expecting details of specific tricks at porn star master levels, which scared the hell out of me since I hate being on top. I never could get the hang of it. In all honesty, I've been with two people in my life. My current boyfriend I've been with for 15 years and can honestly say that it's never been boring, I so hope he feels the same, I've extremely lucked out with how well we work together and how open and honest we are with each other. My absolute favorite parts are being able to go from hot and heavy, to jokes and laughing, and right back at it without missing a beat. I don't think I could be in a relationship where sex didn't end with laughs. I'm one of those who gets off the most knowing my partner is getting off, so I hope he doesn't have a list of complaints. Thank you all for this thread. You've definitely helped renew my confidence. I am not seeing it so, hands. For God's sakes do something with your hands. Jerk me off, play with your tits, rub your clit, touch my face slash neck slash stomach slash shoulders slash back. You have no idea how many women think that foreplay is just for them. For 20 minutes you're fingering, eating, biting, squeezing and sucking while she laid there with her hands over her head. Now she has the audacity to feel insecure like she doesn't turn you on because you don't have an erection. I am not turned on, I have been touching you while you lazed about like a Roman emperor getting fed grapes. I can speak only for myself in this case but for whatever it's worth to you, for me it's, in every sense of the word. Openness. Honesty about what she is and isn't into. Working with her partner instead of just expecting results. Her legs being receptive to advances, both emotional and physical, being open to new things, after the two of you have talked and set boundaries where needed, openness in general, enthusiasm is also very desirable. Show a desire to want to satisfy your partner. Saying things like I want to make you come, and I love making you come goes a long way. I had an ex that made me feel like she looked at it like a chore. While all I wanted to do was please her. That really sucked. I haven't seen it much, but seriously, just touch me. Put your hands on my shoulders. Put them on my hips. Wrap your arms around my back, even grab my ass if you want to. I don't care. Just stop holding your hands above your head and expecting me to do all the work. I am well aware that not all women do that, just the ones that I've been with. And above all, do some moving as well. Don't be a dead fish. I will just say this, as a woman who came to read comments, you will know when it's good. 
spouse and I have legitimately the best connection, and truly that's what you feel, like this connection that is deeper and in the moment it's just the two of you existing and nothing else matters. It's legit like ecstasy, I've never had that before, lol, but let's go with the sensation and not the drug here. It will blow your mind, and when you are done you will be in this days where you are like, this is the best ever. Also, the will to please. Like I literally get off on pleasing my man and going down on him, and making him beg for me. I don't know, I've had wild, down for anything women that I didn't think were all that great, and I've had boring plain vanilla missionary that was amazing. I don't know what it is, but regardless of the type of sex, there has to be that spark, and I don't think it's anything we can control. Certain people just fit together just the right way sometimes, and I mean that in more than one way. Enthusiasm I was stuck in a relationship for nearly four years, where sex just seemed like such a reluctant thing from the other side. I was always initiating, doing the work, etc. After the breakup, I had such severe sexual trauma about feeling unwanted, I had to take therapy for nearly 10 months. Eventually, when I started dating again, I found that women who enjoyed fooling around with me made me so happy. Especially the ones who asked what I liked, who looked at me when they were going down, or on top to see my reaction, the ones who spoke to me afterwards to see what I like. When someone shows they're interested in you, and genuinely enjoys it, there's nothing like it. I love it when my wife talks dirty, I want this cock in my mouth, oh you lick my kitty so good, oh yeah, right there baby, you're going to make me explode on your cock. All that stems back to communication. Also, I love it when a woman just throws out all inhibitions and focuses on pure lust and pleasure. More examples, as I'm hitting that kitty good and she starts playing with her clit with one hand and her nipples with another. Or when she's riding on top and decides to start massaging my balls. All that tells me she's really into it. This goes both ways though. I want to pleasure her to the point her toes curl and give her orgasms that make her whole body shake. Nothing gives me more satisfaction. Confidence. A woman who has no issues with how her body looks. My wife doesn't like me looking at her naked because she isn't happy about her body after three kids. It doesn't matter how many times I tell her I want to eat her like a piece of candy. It is very difficult to go crazy when the other person keeps trying to cover up or leave clothes on. My wife is small, 115 pounds, and I have told her numerous times that I would rather she was 175 pounds and confident enough to know that I want her without judging her appearance. We have friends with wives who are twice her weight who walk around like they think everyone wants some of it, and it is sexy as hell. I know their husbands are happy in the bedroom from adult conversations when the kids aren't around. Confidence makes the best sex. Okay. Lots of comments about confidence and eye contact and enthusiasm, etc. which is all very good and correct. But nobody seems to be mentioning vaginal control, which is huge, and is an actual skill you can practice. I'm hoping everyone has heard of kegels, but if not, please look it up, ladies, squeezing is like hitting the gas pedal. Learning how hard and when to squeeze, and when not to squeeze, can help you control how long the sex lasts and how intense you and or your partner's orgasm is. Be mindful of what you're doing down there, and you can really step up your game. I googled how to give good blow jobs once, and I still use what I learned today. I've gotten great feedback, lol. Like with a woman, men have a particular anatomy with different areas of sensitivity. Once you get a better understanding, it can help a lot with hitting the perfect place at the right time. A lot of men don't make as many sounds as women, but there are still ways to know. Take the cues, keep going when they like it, and ask questions. Women who are good with smooth transitions are definitely the best in this department. It might be more of an endurance thing here. I imagine the same goes for women who have endurance. They want a person who will make it through the gambit. I also have always liked women who are great kissers. But everybody is different. I just like being kissed during sex. It keeps me engaged for sure. Ultimately, eye contact is well known to be hot. Communication is really important. People have said that several times here and I agree. Not everyone is the same. It helps to know what your needs are. It also helps when a woman is open to my desires. 
but I found women are generally pretty good with that sort of thing. There is nothing better than a woman who wants it and is not shy, or inhibited. This makes for a wonderful experience. There seems to be a huge misconception out there, that men are responsible for women's satisfaction in bed but in truth everyone is responsible for their own orgasms. Neither of the people having intercourse can feel what the other is feeling. So if something is going on that is not as pleasurable as it could be, it is that party's responsibility to stop proceedings and change it to its most pleasurable. For example, a couple getting frisky, all the kissing and petting, hands are touching, lips exploring, sexual tension building, suddenly he is ready and wants to go. She has not gotten to the point of being ready yet. It is at this point where a man is kind of overcome with desire and the big head is no longer working too well. It is now time for some direction, if it is nipple play that makes the lady peek, put your hands on his head and gently put your nipple in his mouth. If it is clitoral stimulation you desire, put his head there, pull your own labia open, pull back your own hood and expose your clitoris, and tell him to suck and lick right here. Tell him to go real gentle at first, and using your hands, and wiggles and squirms you can show and direct exactly what you want, this is called sexual communication. The better both parties are at it, the better the entire experience is for both parties. In my experience what makes one woman better in bed than another is communication, contribution, and some direction. Sexual gratification comes from knowing that you pleasured your partner wonderfully, and that they enjoyed being with you. Don't be shy to say so. Saying things like, for example during doggy, I could feel your balls slapping my clit and it was wonderful. Or, I love it when you grind slow and deep, this tells him what you want more of, and shows that you want more of that, more of him. Again, it's all about communication. Thanks for listening to Reddit Rundown, give a thumbs up and subscribe, and help me get to 1000 subs. Leave a comment below on what kind of topics or stories you would like to hear. You can also check out other videos on my channel. Thanks and have an awesome day.